Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over some gameplay, um, some of the new schemes that I've been running out of the Run Balance playbook. See in this video we're playing a guy, pretty good team, uh, he was running the Jumbo Heavy as well but I'm only going to be showing you the offense of uh, highlights for me so you see we're coming out in the single back wide trips and first thing we're going to do is try and establish the run but we get an instant block shed which is unfortunate you know sometimes mad 17 you just have to accept that so I noticed that he was in man so the first thing I want to come out in is either the waggle or the PA read um, so I'm going to come out in one of those and try and do a quick throw to the receiver on the left with the unbumpable route but you see what's going to happen is he's actually going to be on that guy. And I'm expecting him to jump on the tight end. That's what I should have thrown him to. But you see, we're still able to fit the ball in there even when his guy's a little cheated over to the same side as the unbumpable and guardable route. We're still going to come out in the same play, the PA read or the counter waggle. And do the setup where we streak the tight end uh, and put the running back either on a swing or out route. Um, you see here, uh, we're going to audible using the motion out route motion Alshon Jeffrey in and I'm using the identifier so I can see where he's at and I see him jump out so I try to throw a quick bullet pass inside because he tried to jump outside um, which made me believe that I could fit that ball in there next we're going to come out in the stretch but audible once again to the uh, smash with the out route on the outside and once again motion him in to try and hit the uh, quick out route um, but you see the tight end is wide over the, over the middle so we just throw a high point pass to him. Next we do come out in uh, the stretch again and we're looking to get the edge because we haven't ran the stretch yet. Um, there's no one over the tight end on the right. We subbed in as usually a receiver there. We're going to try and click block him but you see I don't know why he comes all the way across and behind the line. Uh, I actually wanted him to go and block the inside linebacker but that happens there. Uh, he calls a timeout, come back out in the unbumpable route. We're looking at that DB on the left and what happens is uh, we're going to see that as soon as he blitzes right there, I'm throwing it. As soon as I see someone doesn't guard that area, I'm throwing it right there. So we go up 8 to nothing with the two-point conversion. He's shown he can't stop this, so we're going to keep coming out in the same play. Um, you see right there, he does guard it for a quick second, but he's in a cover one. We see it. Our guy beats him over the top, throw it for one play touchdown. Um, then he quits after that. So that's that's this that uh, last game, this other game. Uh, last a little bit longer you see here we come out audible to the run he gets a good block shed but we're able to uh, have pretty good blocking on the edge and break a tackle get down the field for a big game so my two favorite plays to come out in is the, either the stretch or the uh, play action play to the quick hike throw uh, one of those two are my favorite ones to come out in uh, and then adjust the right side accordingly um, you see here uh, we're gonna do a couple of hot routes um, and he played man to man last time so I was expecting um, him to play man to man again and I can throw that quick hike but you see he's actually guarding it now he takes his linebacker and mans him up um, so we're just gonna throw it right over his head with a high point pass so now he's in cover two invert and if he wants to stay in the cover two invert we could actually go to the jumbo heavy and just dominate out of it uh, but I wanted to show some gameplay with this formation so here I actually come out in the wide receiver screen because I wanted to throw a quick uh, high point pass to the square receiver, but you see that guy plays over there uh, So we have to come back and hit the screen and unfortunately we don't have a speedy receiver to go out and get that But if he was in cover two or something where the guy I mean cover three uh, Where the DB played back we could have hit the uh, Eric Decker for uh, the quick little short fade So here you see we're gonna hit the quick out route to the halfback and he's not guarding the flats um, with anything and we're not able to do um, the hike throw it there as well because you see that he's uh, starting to guard it with a man or um, a zone over there so if that bl guy actually blitzes like here they don't have an overhang guy I would look to throw a quick throw to uh, to Decker um, you see there how the linebacker goes over but he's a little late um, they're still able to fit it in the guy just drops it so since he dropped it brings up fourth and four and we're gonna go to the jumbo heavy um, and he's in goal line, so I know that circle or square is going to be wide open on the, um, the Z spot route. So we're just going to look, hike the ball, and just throw it for a one-play touchdown. Um, 
if you're in goal line, that's as you know, that's not going to stop it. Uh, we get a turnover, get the ball back once again. Coming out, trying to do a quick hike throw, doesn't uh, seem open. So we go to look for the halfback again. A little late on the read. You want to really run that if you're on the left side of the field, and then you want to flip it if you're on the right side, like I'm about to do. I just forgot to. So keep that in mind when you are running this. If you're on the right hash, flip it. If you're on the left hash, leave it alone. Um, you see here, once again, come out on the receiver screen, try and hit the fade, not open. And then we go back to the wide receiver screen. But we don't have a fast and speedy quick receiver there. So it's a little bit hard to run the wide receiver screen. Uh, we're going to jump into the jumbo heavy. And we're going to run the tight end corners, Dragon Clark and we're going to actually have Jeffrey wide open on that deep post because he bites on the in route and he just doesn't try to animate and catch it. He just lets it go right over his head. So uh, fourth down now, we take our three and uh, going to go in to the second quarter with a 11 to nothing lead. And then after he gets the ball back, what's going to happen is we get another turnover. I believe it was a fumble. Uh, we get the ball back. We are on the 10 yard line, still in jumbo heavy, running the halfback stretch going to click block Jeffrey so you can go and block the corner you can see you get a seal from Jeffrey and then 86 Reed goes and blocks the other guy so we get down to the three yard line now from the three yard line we can run the two point tight end shake money play but we're going to actually audible to the halfback dive and motion Alshon Jeffrey in um, just to see if he has run D on goal line um, and like I said you know you're just gonna have to expect uh, Block sheds. It's just what it is in Mad 17. You see, he's he's getting blocked and still makes the tackle. So I mean, you can't really do anything about that um, this year. So it, it's really tough. Brings up third and one, and we're gonna come out in QB sneak audible to jumbo heavy um, to make it look like a regular offense. And then as soon as uh, we want to hike the ball, we're gonna reset the play. Everyone moves, and we're gonna run the quarterback sneak uh, up the middle. To try to get the first down don't get it brings up fourth down so you know what's coming is the tight end shake two-point conversion money play or short yardage play where we uh, put jeffrey on a smart high corner you see it's unguardable hike the ball throw it uh, it's unguardable unless they user it um, another stop comes up and we're just trying to finish this game off um, you see no one's on that overhang so we throw it quick he tries to strip we score one play touchdown and that's going to be the end of him he's going to quit before the second quarter so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on some gameplay out of the run balance playbook trying to show off a little bit of the why uh trips out of the single back i'll try and get more offensive gameplay for you and if you uh want to see some defensive gameplay as well i can upload that but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel for more great content and if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content you're going to find anywhere in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.